My name's Helen and this is my channel, Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here, then welcome. If you're returning, thank you very much. And if you're a Hell's Bell, hello. Uh, just a name for my regulars. Um, I have been promising this for a long time and I still haven't finished the decorations, but I thought I'll show you what I've done and then I'll just put any extra bits. I'll just put them onto Instagram. Um, if you're not on Instagram, uh, you might want to consider joining it. It's I just put the odd photograph up there. I do put most of everything on, on YouTube, but um, it's Helen Mary Jo Hello on Instagram. And um, <laughs> I've got a cough. <coughs> Still coughing. Um, so today I'm just going to do a little sort of tour of um, my tree and front door and stuff like that. As I say, there's still a couple of bits to do, but um, it's been so bitterly cold, which I've got this, I'm not wearing this actually indoors normally. It's just, um, I'm going outside to show you the front door garland and stuff shortly. So I thought I would put this on ahead of time. And, um, oh, I just wanted to say thank you for, honestly, I think over 500 comments on the video about um, featuring my mum trying on her Christmas clothes. I mean, you know, the few extra bits that she bought for Christmas. We we really enjoyed it. And um, I think all of you did too. It was heartwarming, honestly, and made me again appreciate how lucky I am to still have my mum. I mean, I'm 65, she's 91. And out of most of my friends, I'm the only one that still has their mum. So, um, yeah, it was really lovely. And I have no doubt that she'll be back on again. She thoroughly enjoyed it. And she was a natural, as she told me. I must have got it from somewhere. And, uh, yeah, so thank you for that. It really gave her such a tremendous lift. It did me too, to be fair. So, anyway, I will uh, stop the kind of video here and I'll go outside and show you what I've done on the front door which as I say isn't finished but like it's I, I think if I wait much longer you'll just give up so uh, just bear with me so this is my front door garland and uh, you may recognize recognize the um, bells from HomeSense the Hessian flower from B&M the feathers from B and M, and uh, Katie described this as very new forest. So I'll take that. I've never done a swag before. I uh, thought it'd make a change from a wreath. I'm sick of wreaths. I've made so many in my time. I used to hold wreath making classes actually, and uh, that's quite hard work. Much harder work than making a swag, I can assure you. And that again is in Oasis, so that should stay relatively fresh. And I've got this giant heart that I bought in HomeSense again. And uh, that's just fun as well. I mean, it's absolutely huge. You can see it's about probably two foot six by 18 inches, something like that. And it's three dimensional. And I also love that. And then I will be putting something in these pots. And um, when I do that, I will show you that too. But meanwhile, I'm really pleased with this. I think it looks lovely. When you come into the hallway, I've got this blended uh, kind of Neptune Santa, which just caught my eye again in Home Sense. And uh, just put him in the tray with all the, the shells that's um, always there. And um, Casey got me these little starfish battery operated lights just to make it even more kitsch than it is already so uh yeah i like that too it's just it's just fun isn't it all of this is just fun on my hall table i have this centerpiece and this is probably my favorite thing of all is this um large stag's head that i got uh last year in home sense and it really was very reasonably priced i think it was about 15 pounds and um, i set it on this plinth surrounded with a few fir cones i need to replace those candles they're not working anymore but it's it's got kind of the deer so it's just a very kind of dramatic centerpiece 
as you come into the house and you can see again that it's adorned with the crystal and pearls dressing it up for Christmas. I love it. So I don't really care what other people think because I absolutely love it. And that's all that matters really. Here in the hall, I have this alternative tree that I had to have when we were doing the house and we were living in the cabin and I uh, couldn't have a real tree. And on this tree, I've just got all of our names of like my actual kind of my husband and children and spouses and grandchildren and my mum on this tree. And they're done in age order. So mum's at the top and then we come down right down to the children. And I've got a new grandchild due next year. So we'll be adding another name to it, which is lovely. And, um, and then I've got these little extra ones with names on and uh, my little grandson has got a Portuguese name, so I won't find that on there, but um, I, I bought one and I'll just write it on. And then the message, dear Sandra, I've been very good for the last, for the last week. Let's just focus on that, which is kind of right. Uh, the Santa I bought in Costco a long, long time ago um many moons ago but i will say about costco stuff it might be pricey at the outset but it lasts forever it's kind of hotel quality and then a little stag candle that i can't bring myself to light because it'll be ruined as soon as it's lit maybe this year but i doubt it now the microphone um stopped working when i was showing this little tree village that i've put together and as you can see the perspective of everything, the ratio is, is all out of kilter, but you know what, anything goes at Christmas, doesn't it? So we've got the trees and the houses and the deer, and then underneath the table is another little silver glass tree. And I think it's just a bit different, really. <coughs> so um, I said, that's a new one for this year. I've never done that before. So we've got a giant Santa, mini houses, giant dear i don't know it's all over the place really but i like it it's just a bit of fun and um yeah so like i say new this year now this little nativity crib um i bought this many 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 years ago probably 25 years ago in Lidl when Lidl was a new store in this country and no one had really heard of it but um i think it's a really nice looking nativity scene and at the end of the day, that's that's what Christmas is all about. It's where the Christmas story came from. So, um, yeah, I think it's very authentic. And the children love putting all the um, pieces in there. And, and I let them do that completely. And then there's a giant reindeer looking over it just to keep things real. <laughs> Here's my kind of basic table arrangement, if you like. I made the velvet runner. Um, from a piece of fabric that I had and um, you've probably recognized the Martha Stewart candle there um, I got this candle holder this gold one from TK Maxx it was reduced because the glass in it had broken and um, I just used some oasis and some foliage and a few baubles and things to decorate that and then the um, the plate that I got in B&M which uh, goes beautifully with the colorway actually so, yeah, I mean, on Christmas Day, obviously, all the crackers and everything will go on there. But um, and the table will be extended massively because we've got 12 on Christmas Day. But this is just to give it the Christmas feel. This is our Christmas tree this year. Rob did a fabulous job picking a really lovely shaped tree and uh, I'd say it's kind of a perfect Christmas sheet, tree shape actually and you can see that there's a wide variety of decorations on it, some new, some old, some really really old, um, mostly kind of silvers, pale gold, blues, greens the occasional red one as well because they are old and the children all look for their decorations that they remember from years gone by the older children and the younger children i have to say 
and um, you can see we've got some beautiful little um, nativity glass nativities that came from um, I think that one was from Venice actually people have brought them bought them for us as gifts that little you see that little gold um, kind of I don't know what you call it really like a little parcel Grace made that I think it was in Girl Guides a hundred years ago and she always looks for that on the tree Katie made the little woolen doll in there she always looks for that on the tree so you know it's not a shop a shop arrangement this is our house it's our memories you can see Elvis in there my friend bought me that um, I'm a huge Elvis fan I probably told you that already Grace um, the sun is so bright Grace bought the um, pink uh, not Grace Hattie the pink pug so that has to go on there and there's all sorts of decorations. There's a lot of little deer and things and stars and icicles and angels and all the usual things that you would get in a tree, on a Christmas tree. And uh, this year, I remembered that we had these large mirrors. They're actually in our wardrobe door when we did the house. And uh, I asked Rob to put one behind. And of an evening, <coughs> excuse me, that really um, kind of doubles the tree, if you like reflects it back into the room so very pleased with that I have to say I just hope it it stands the test of time until Christmas it's um it's still drinking water which is a good sign but I mean what well, we've got another two weeks so you know it'll be one of those probably that every so often you'll just hear a where all the needles start dropping off and then over on the windowsill here again it's so bright. I'm just going to drop the blind actually. Yeah, that helps. Um, there are three stocking holders that I bought a long, long time ago in TK Maxx, and three decorative Christmas stockings that I bought in Watford Market at least 20 years ago, if not more. No, much more than that about 30 years ago um, and they were our three children's stockings and now they're the three grandchildren's stockings a couple of snow globes from when the kids went to see father christmas and then we come round and we've got my mantelpiece which i always do with fresh foliage and that's very simple to do um just floral foam in some trays I mean, you know, I, I'm lucky because I do have all the equipment because I've done a lot of flower arranging. And then my stag's head is decorated for Christmas. And those pearl and crystal drops were given to me by my sister-in-law, who's an upholsteress. And I think they came off a curtain or a chair or something. And she knew that they were too good to dispose of. So um, she gave them to me and I was thrilled. And um yeah, and then we've got these three China angels that I bought again in, in Home Sense TK Maxx. And they weren't bought at the same time, actually. They were bought separately, but um, all of the same ilk. So I think they look lovely on there. And then that stag's head candle holder. Again, TK Maxx. I'm obviously a good customer of theirs. So that's that. And then over here, now, on the shelving units, there's like loads of decorations, old ones, new ones. Um, every shelf, is they're just dotted around on there. And it's quite fun of an evening to just sit and, um, and look at all the decorations. I mean, these are lovely. And these were, um, these were TK Maxx as well. I quite often leave the price sticker on the bottom so that I can see that big globe bought that many years ago when it was an awful lot of money and um you know it's a really extravagant purchase but I'm really glad I did because I love it so that is our front living room so that was a quick tour of most of the decorations I mean there are more but uh, they're just little pieces that are kind of dotted around the place and I'm sure you're not that bothered um so I hope you've enjoyed it um we've got this due on Sunday so I've got loads of 
work to do to get that organised. Bit of a disappointment today. We were supposed to be going for breakfast with Santa on Saturday with the grandchildren. And um, when I, I couldn't find my confirmation email and uh, I rang up and they said, oh, you cancelled it. So I didn't cancel it. And what happened when I paid, um, the transaction didn't go through, but I didn't get, you know, normally you get a reminder saying, um, you know, you haven't booked or the items are in your basket or anything. I didn't get that and I hadn't noticed. So anyway, long story short, <coughs> excuse me, we don't have breakfast with Santa, but we found um, a festive afternoon tea. So hopefully that will do the job. So, um, yeah, I've got to squeeze that in at the, at the weekend now as well. Anyway, thank you so much as ever. Thank you for watching. Thanks for your support. And I'll see you really soon. Bye.